Ah, purple and blue look the same, he said. Inside the walls of Glen Hope Elementary School. They've been keeping a secret, which is huge. A secret kept for weeks. It wasn't long ago that Mrs. Hayes had her students discuss their favorite colors during class when they realized fifth grader Jaron Casillas didn't have one, or more specifically, couldn't see them. It's pretty much all colors. His mom, Lindsay, remembers the day she found out her son was colorblind. And I heard Jaron's voice in the back seat say, Mommy, look at the beautiful green sunrise. And I looked at it and I thought, oh dear. <laughs> green, purple, and blues, for example, he sees as gray. Trees are yellow, and the colorful classroom and world around him hasn't been so until they just this came from them and they really were driven to do it. His classmates decided to take matters into their own hands, collecting their allowances and donations to buy Jaron special glasses to help him see color. And not just one pair, but two for indoor and outdoor. If you wouldn't mind, we would love to see you try them on and tell us what you think. Hello. <laughs> Is this what everybody else has been saying the whole time? I know that my friends are really true friends for doing this for me. The hearts of these children in a time like this, you know, I think gives us all hope. He not only can now see new colors, but really just how beautiful the world can be. You know what I'm excited about? Uh. Legos. <laughs> <laughs> I think he sees a sense of you know, what true friendship is and caring people around him. And I just hope he carries this with him and he remembers this day for a long time. In Grapevine, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.